these plans are not gonna get out. This is a what if story if every single one of them died. I actually thought that none of them were gonna live and he was actually gonna get the plans back. <laughs> but it was still good. He kills everybody in the hallway. Then the guy passes off through it because the door is jammed. They can't get it open, so they can't escape. So he gets it to the guy in the other side of the hallway. The guy who passed it off gets impaled through the back with his lightsaber. And then Darth Vader, I don't know if he uses the force to open the doors that were once jammed like it was nothing. He impales him. And then he opens the door and starts progressing to kill everybody else in the hallway. But they manage to get away. And it says, hey, get the escape pods ready in the exact starship that we see at the beginning of A New Hope. So him killing these rebels happens no more than a couple of minutes than before, than before episode four, A New Hope actually starts. So it's almost, this Rogue One story just seamlessly transitions right into episode four. And I thought it was so well done. And we see the plans get passed off to a very special person that Belogana says that she, that he trusts with her life, trusts her with her, his life. And we see it's Leo Organa. And I gotta say, the CGI that they used to bring back Carrie Fisher's uh, uh, face when she did it back in 1977, it was really well done. I actually thought it was really, 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 really good. And then it ends. I mean, it doesn't... It, it, I can't think of anything bad to say about this film. Because this is how you do it. Oh, there was so many risks taken. But it paid off. I'm thinking about going to see this again. As soon as I get the chance. If I'm not working. But this movie was so good. Seeing Darth Vader in the hallway. I'm so glad to have his lightsaber. Yes, I have one. And uh, it's part of the Blade Builders, so I'm not a big fan of how they do their Blade Builders and make it only extremely short. But still, it was awesome! Darth Vader was awesome! That, I, that one scene, it was 45 seconds long. Darth Vader killing those rebels only lasted for 45 seconds. But in that... I'm getting chills again. In that 45 seconds, Darth Vader cemented himself as one of the greatest, if not the greatest, Star Wars villain I have ever seen. And that scene will go down to be one of the best scenes ever in Star Wars, I assure you. The moment that uh, the moment LucasArts and Disney allows uh, that scene to be up on YouTube, it's going to hit millions instantly. I mean, it... I, I can't wait to tell my kids one day that, yes, this is who Darth Vader was. And I was there. I was there. December 16th, 2016, where we saw the power of Darth Vader in films. I was there when Darth Vader held the dude up on a roof while still deflecting with his lightsaber, then kills the guy behind him without even looking at him. I was there. This will go down in history as one of the greatest things that has ever happened to Star Wars, ever. There's nothing more I can say. The movie was awesome. If you haven't seen this movie, go see it. And if you're watching this and you haven't seen this movie, I warned you at the beginning that there would be spoilers. So if you're spoiled because of this movie, you brought it on yourself. I will not apologize. So, that's all I will say. There's nothing more I can say. I'm gonna play Battlefront just so I can play as Darth Vader all day long. And I will see you all in the next video. So, have a fantastic day. And I am so happy I cannot sustain myself. This movie was awesome. I'm sorry if I sound overly excited or overly dramatic. But this is how I am when I do things and see things that I like. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you all in the next video. And as always, later, peoples.